Now I think what happened was I I clicked on the wrong side of the pipe and maybe the steam just all came out. What do we think? Is that believable? Um, we need to have all of these processed. Uh, so 13 times four, 12 times four, uh, 48. Yeah, so we have enough redstone, I think, to, to do this, this thing. It's just a matter of having enough steam. Um, and it looks like, like if we just wait for this to fill up and then let it go in. The key thing is, is that I think it clicked here. I'm not sure why that didn't work, but I think I need to click here for it to connect to there. All right. We can also just look at the uh, the coal boiler and we can see how much steam is in there. Um, so I think if we see like 4.8 uh, kilo, kiloliters uh, and another similar amount here, that'll be like two uh, jobs worth. Uh, I'm not really super excited about the idea of sitting here babysitting this, but let's, let's try getting two done. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll see if I can just leave this on its own. Is this doing a thing? Or is this? I am confused. Cannot vent steam. Right click the wrench to point this steam's, this machine's steam vent towards the empty spit. Oh, that's the problem. Towards an empty space, huh? Ah. Insufficient steam. Now there's sufficient steam. Is that the problem all along? Let's see, does this keep running? Maybe I misunderstood what the problem was in the first place. And the actual problem was that the steam machine needs to be able to vent the steam after it's done with it. Which is, uh, <laughs> fair. I mean, unless it's getting so much heat out of the steam that's condensing back to water, then water would need to drain. It would make sense the steam, having done the work, needs to go somewhere. All right. First steam machine. Far from the last. We have a, uh, a host of a steam machines to make. And then um, at some point we'll be able to go to the next age and start using electricity. Uh, won't that be fun? All right, and I had eight redstone left over. That's great. Oh, hey, look, there's the loot bag. I did eventually get it. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so what's in the bag? Let's find out. Ooh. So it looks like we got a couple of potions of fire resistance. That's not nothing. Might come in handy at some point. Doesn't help with our, <laughs> our inventory situation. Uh, what's going on with the steam here? I think I just need to shut this off, yeah? And then we can not waste the steam. I think, so I think we're maximally hot here and we have lots of water. How's, how's this number doing? It's still going up, so that's good. I think that's gonna mean that with the one machine producing steam, that we're not gonna risk uh, running out of water. Because if this were to go dry, I think that would be bad, I think. Okay, let's have a snack. What is that? Do you see that in the um, this corner over here? The heart and the, the countdown? What is that about? Okay, well anyway, I don't know. <laughs> so many things to not know. Uh, so we completed this, a very important alloy. 
Uh, and we either get a loot bag or more red alloy and get, I mean, if it's so important, we want more of it, right? So let's claim that. Um, at some point, I should probably just bring the chest that has all the coins and put it over here. Uh, again, inventory <laughs> is getting is going to be a problem. Uh, next thing is small gears require a wire cutter to be made. So let's craft one. So we're going to make a wire cutter. Um, so in a minute, we're going to look at what I actually we need. Just waiting for night. Go to bed, wake up, and uh, have a fresh start. There we go. Uh, okay, so there's a hint, right, in the quest, right? So for the wire cutter, we probably need three iron plates, two iron rods, and one iron screw. Um, we don't actually have these things. We had made these in the past. And then the, we can see here the wire cutter. Yeah, we need two rods, three plates, and a screw of some material. Okay, so I already know the iron plate, each one needs two iron ingots. So that's uh, six, seven, eight, nine, nine iron ingots to make all that. If we do get uh, a choice of either a loot bag or four iron screws, I think I might take the loot bag. That might be more interesting. Uh, we have um, nine iron there. And I do have a, uh, a crafting station here. So let's what's going on here? So we're about to full we're about to fill this full of steam. So what happens then? So it fills at uh, 16 buckets. So what happens when it hits 16 buckets? Do we do we explode? Do we stop? Oh, it voids. It voids out four buckets if we max out. Okay, that is kind of unfortunate. Let's go ahead and take our charcoal back out then. So there are many things that we can use the alloy smelter for. And if I knew some specific things that <laughs> we wanted to do with it right now, that might be a thing to Hello do. Hello there. Hello there. You're, uh, you're here. Hello, Foxy Blue. Thank you for the hello there, Redeem. Just uh, here figuring stuff out. Um... What do I need to do about the situation? I think there's not really anything I can. You're here now. Uh, right, because you were saying you were gonna lurk. You were having dinner? Do I remember right? <laughs> Something like that? Well, welcome back. Or as Obi-Wan said, hello there. All right, so what am I doing? Right, so I need to look at the quest. The quest says what I need. <laughs> yep, and Jake's here too. Yep, what is that dinner? I remember. I remember some some things. Uh, iron rod, uh, which I had bookmark, bookmarked before, but I'm just gonna bookmark again because I can't remember these recipes. Like, oh, I have to have the file here and I have to have the iron bolts here and how do I make iron bolts? And I'm not gonna remember any of that. Someday we're gonna have machines that are gonna make all this stuff for us. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderful. What a day that will be. Uh, so I need three iron plates, or two. Three, three iron plates. Uh, right, yeah, that makes sense. And then, uh, let's unbookmark that. And then we need iron rods. How many iron rods do we need? I think we need to turn all three into iron rods. And then we take an iron rod and we turn it into um, two iron bolts. Yeah. With our saw. And then we take the two iron bolts and somehow make one screw out of that. There we go. And then uh, we combine those all somehow. 
into a wire cutter. Okay. So now I click this and um, Okay, I'm just gonna have to do it by hand, I guess. So file, hammer, screwdriver, hammer, screwdriver, file, iron plate, iron plate, iron plate, screw, rod, rod. Hey! I mean, if you look at it, it kind of sort of makes sense. So like the two rods are the handles and the three plates make up the the jaws, and then you have a screw. The proportions are not right at all, but yeah, what are you gonna do? All right, so we have a wire cutter. Yet another tool to fill up our inventory. <laughs> um, so, do we take the four iron screws, which is basically four ingots of iron, or do we take an, a steam age loot bag and gamble? I think we should gamble. <laughs> Uh, and that unlocks some other things. So I think um, we need more iron. Yeah, where did you eat, Foxy? Was it was it a good dinner? Did you order in or make something? Tell us. <laughs> all right, we need to make all these things. Um, we're kind of low on iron though here, so I think I'm gonna head back to the other base. Can also put those coins away and uh, open the loot bag and see what do we get. Also, where that lead just runs over, uh, all over, all over the place. Just need to not fall in that hole <laughs> back there where the cobblestone was. Went to uh, out to Cheddar's. Uh, was craving potato soup. Everything but the potato soup was good. Oh no. Well, I'm glad that everything else was good. I don't think I've ever been to a Cheddar's. Is that like a, a local? Never mind. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna put the coins away. Here we are up to 25 of the Chemist One coins. How did I end up with 64 cobblestone? I'm just gonna stick that in somewhere. Uh, let's open the loot bag. Actually, um, this is this is never gonna be a waste, right? So I can I can apply the upgrade to a chest, then I'll be able to pick up the chest, and it's gonna stay an iron chest. So I might as well just do it now. Uh, there we go. So now it's an iron chest. So a normal wooden chest looks like this, right? And an iron chest looks like this. So it's a double chest that takes a single space. Isn't that neat? Isn't that nice? Um, if I was thinking about it, I might have just upgraded one of the double chests. I think I can do that. I don't know, actually, if the um, the iron chests, you can put them side by side. I guess I could have checked that, but whatever. It's fine. Um, let's actually, let's see what happens. So if I take the other upgrade and I put it here, okay, it splits it. Uh, we're gonna make a mess <laughs> really quick. Hold on. Yoink. Because I really want to know if I put two iron chests side by side, if they combine into a bigger inventory. And eventually, we will pick up the iron chest. There we go. The iron chest. Nope. Inventories do not combine. That uh, is unfortunate. What's also really unfortunate is now, um, okay, how am I going to do this? I need to, I need to really empty out my inventory is what I need to do. Okay, so those, those can go in there. Diamonds are going to live here. Don't let me forget where I put the diamonds. Class, I was going to bring over to the other place and I forgot. Uh, this tool is going to be here. Um, okay, the knife is going to be in there. All right, that, that should be good. All right, 
Okay, so that'll be a bit easier to deal with. There we go. No, not that. Okay. So, what's in the bag? <laughs> what could it be? It is saplings. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Uh, saplings that I don't have though. Darkwood sapling produces chocolate apples. Whatever those are good for. Eucalyptus sapling. Haven't seen one of those. Redwood. We have a bunch of those. Hop seed sapling. Ascended glitch. Ascended glitch. What does it mean? Uh, oh, it's almost night time. Hold on. You? Huh. 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 Don't know. Um, I do know there's like, um, there is something in this pack that allows you to like pick up a, a chest and it'll keep its inventory. Uh, at some point we'll unlock that and that'll be nice. We'll probably move this stuff before then, but yeah, anyway. All right, hop seed, we got a sacra sapling, flowering cherry, wouldn't that be nice? We need that blood sapling, lava resistant, grows on the ceiling. Okay, weird, ghost wood sapling, pale as a ghost. All right, so that was that was different. Uh, and I think we got a bunch of coins, because I don't remember having these before. So if nothing else, we got a bunch of coins from the uh, loot bag. Okay. So, we need to make a piston. Uh, and unfortunately, it's not just a bit of redstone and some wood and some cobblestone. No, no, no. We need gears. And we need plates, red, red alloy plates. And we need carpenter's blocks uh, and cobble. Okay, so it's a whole thing. Uh, but we just need to make one. And then that's gonna unlock the thing that I really wanted to make. Yeah, very. <laughs> this pack, this pack is like, oh, you need this, you need this, you need this. So you can do this, which you're gonna need for another thing. At least, so I'm trying to keep my sanity <laughs> in a way by not showing the whole, the, the whole, um, all of the quests. So I don't know if you, you probably missed this earlier, but um, this is actually what the chapter looks like. And we're here. So it's kind of just better. Let's not let's not even see all that stuff. Uh, let's just, you know, focus on one thing at a time. Ooh, shiny. Okay, so we're gonna make a piston. Somehow, some way. Uh, we're gonna start by figuring out how much iron do we have? Uh, none. No, no iron. Okay, let's let's smelt some iron. We do have lots of raw materials here. Now I don't think I'm going to want to bother with setting up the windmill just to process, try to get eke out a little bit more iron. I don't think it's worth the time. So we're, we're just going to we're going to take some of the magnesite ore. Uh, how much iron do we need? Is it is a question I should probably answer, right? So um, each of these is an iron ingot, so that's four. Each of these is two, so that's um, so eight. The small iron gears are a plate and two rods. So that's another four per gear. So eight, 16 carpenter's blocks. Uh, don't need iron. So 16 iron. So I'm not going to process more iron than I have to. Because I believe like if we look at magnesite ore, if we go over here to the macerator, um, I don't 
Yeah, we can't see that. Okay, so but you can see you can put magnetite ore into the macerator, and you get crushed magnetite ore and some other byproducts. A ten percent chance of iron dust, and I'm pretty sure the crushed magnetite ore, we should be able to just like smelt. So this is gonna like at least double, slightly more than double, um, how much iron we're getting out of this stuff. So I'm gonna only I'm only gonna do the minimal amount of iron that I need to for us to be able to make the macerator. Um, if I was really trying to eke out, you know, the most efficiency, I would make the windmill first. But I don't want to take that step. I'll, I'll make it slightly less inefficient kind of path. So we can just jump to it. I wonder when we're going to get our next trophy. So there's, uh, it's the amazing trophies mod, apparently. Uh, oh. We're out of lava. <laughs> we are out of lava. So, um, where where is lava? Do we see any surface lava? I think there's one block of lava over here. I don't think this is a pool. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's just like one lava that's flowing over. But I guess we can go over and grab it. We still have our mitts, so we can handle lava. Um... And we got a, our sleeping bag and all of our, our stuff to make traveling not annoying. So let's go on a trip. Now, unfortunately, uh, what's the best way of doing this? I think I'll go south to the ice to cross the river. It's going to be not too out of the way and less annoying than try to, trying to cross the, uh, the river. I should just build a bridge, but I've not bothered yet. I should pay attention to what I'm doing instead of checking out what's going on in OBS. Mm. So. Try not to fall in any holes. I uh, I did. I was going out to check on uh, a thing that I don't know if I, I've even talked about on stream. So so I have shown that you know I've done a bit of exploration around. I did find this this area here. This purple over here is uh, corruption. It's a thing that spreads. So I've been trying to avoid. I've I've not had any reason to go over there, other than um, I was exploring the other day just filling out the rest of the map in this area. And uh, on my way back, I fell in a hole with the horse and I had to dig a big like ramp to get the horse back out. Um, but let's, let's not do that again here. Let's also avoid the cacti. It's probably a good idea. I mean, the horse is hardy. It's got, you know, a few extra hearts. Now, where is this lava, though? I think it's over this way. Oh, it was, but I already picked it up. Uh, that I remember coming over here and picking up lava. I guess the map didn't update. So does that mean there's no lava over here? I guess so. Whoops. Okay. Well... You're not lava, are you? No. Anyone see? Um, wait, was there? Was there lava at this village? Was there more lava than I could pick up at this village? Anyone remember? From like, that was last week, right? Uh, at least we have the horse now. Okay, well.
this way. Can we, um, if I go up and, no, that's not really gonna help, is it? Take a horse to the, the new place and take a bow, but the boat's not gonna get us closer either. Is there not any other, uh, I've not found a good, like, underground uh, lava lake. That's what I really need, right? In the kind of shortish term to supply lava for the uh, the smeltery setup. Unfortunately, that's not something in my various explorations uh, for, you know, mineral veins. Not something I found, so. All right, well, before we did a little bit of mining, now we're gonna do a little bit of uh, running around. At least with the horse, this is faster. Um, and because this is all areas that I've been to before, we're not gonna run into any really... Uh... <laughs> so a thing that exists in this world, uh, because this has, um, what's the mod called? It's called... Uh... Thumbcraft. Yeah, this has Thumbcraft. Thumbcraft, uh, Thumbcraft has these um, things. You, you see them in, in, like, floating in the air occasionally, like little nodules. Uh, and they're kind of hard to see. Where'd the horse go? Horse always runs off. There it is. All right. Um, but some of them... Some of them are hungry nodes, and so they, uh, they're really bad because they pull everything around them into them, destroying it. So like, not just like you, not just like animals, but like blocks and everything. Um, they're kind of a, um, like a map hazard, just like the, the corruption is, because this corruption over here, this will also spread if I go anywhere near it and like stay, keep this area loaded, it will spread throughout the world. Uh, which is why I didn't build my base there. <laughs> All right, we're going basically north to get to this this village. Um, but yeah, so hungry nodes are a thing that we could potentially, yeah, spreading corruption. Yep, it's fine as long as we don't go near there. It'll uh, it'll not be loaded and it won't spread. And later on in the game, like once we do some something in Thomcraft. Once we do a few things in Thomcraft, we should be able to uh, potentially fight it back. But um, at some point, we're gonna ditch this planet anyway, right? We're gonna go to the stars. But first, I gotta get this horse over this terrain. <laughs> Ow. Oh, hey look, some iron gravel ore. That's, could be worth getting. Let's uh, lead the horse. I mean, hey, free iron, just sitting here, why not, right? What I should be bringing with me is an extra fence, so I can just park the horse somewhere. But I didn't think of that. Uh, all right, so we're going northeast through this temperate rainforest. All right, well, here we are. That wasn't so bad. Now, I, I feel like there was some lava here that I left behind. I just need one for right now. At some point we need to, eh, there's, there's some lava. At some point we need to do something more permanent about our, our lava situation. Ow. All right, let's see if we can go back the way we came. That was not an awful way. Wild Corsola appears in chat. For those that are collecting the Pokemon. And there's definitely worse ways to travel than by uh, horse in this. It's definitely faster than on foot. 
having made that trip several times in the past, including once on stream. penalizes us for carrying buckets of lava in our pocket. Go figure. It's like it's hot or something. Alright. through the head of the horse? Yes. All right, cool. Let's... Put this dragon fruit away. We'll eventually be able to uh, make a dragon fruit sapling. We'll be able to do an orchard of every kind of fruit, just because. Uh, when I'm feeling bored, uh, as a side thing. All right, cool. So we have iron, 34 ingots. How much, uh... I'm pretty sure I didn't have any iron in there before, but I feel like we got some extra iron there. Anyway, uh, so... Right, let's do this. Bronze. Let's uh, finish this. It looks like this. There we go. All right, and then switch back to iron. Good. Oh, and there was a little bit extra. Okay, that's fine. Now we will auto pour iron. Now look at all the bronze we got. 39 bronze ingots. Very nice. And here comes the iron. So we needed 16 iron. I may as well, might as well, I'll probably stop it right around 16. We might be, we, we might want to cast one or two other things here besides just ingots. At some point, we'll move on beyond uh, what we can do with the, uh, the smelter ring anyway. But for now, it still has some use. Oh, I see. All right, so this holds 144 liters at a time, and this holds 2.88 kiloliters. Uh, wait, no, it, it holds 4.8 kiloliters, or... Apparently a millibucket is a liter. Not sure how that all works. Uh, all right, we need a little bit more. Okay, 16 iron, there we go, and a few extra. So again, what we were trying to do was to make a piston, which you know, in vanilla, vanilla Minecraft, you, you need one iron ingot to make a piston. I think it is, right? Because it's like uh, wood and redstone. Maybe it's three iron ingots. However many, it's, it's not 16, though. But in this, in this, it's 16. All right, we'll get some extras. Okay, so um, I think that... We have all the other things. I think the other thing we could do while we're here is let's uh, let's pick up our coin chest and we're gonna move it over to uh, the new place. Because that's where we're gonna be completing a lot of quests and stuff and it's just gonna be easier to uh, have our coins over there. Oh, except I'm full. Actually, let's do this, let's split them up. Yeah. Uh, that's not gonna work. Um, do it there then. All right, so I think all of the farming ones and exploring ones, I'll put in here. Yeah, there we go. So 
survivor, sure. Technician, blacksmith, technician, forest stranger, sure. That makes sense. It feels like these are the coins that I'm most likely to get while I'm over in this area, farming and stuff. At least that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, let's get out of here. We got, we got stuff to do. Where'd the lead go? Where did the lead go this time? All right. Maybe at some point I'll, uh, I'll name the horse. It's a thing people do, right? So, uh, up in the top left corner, you can see it's telling us, this is Minecraft Gear 1, day 244. So this is 244 days uh, into playing the pack. And that is in terms, of course, like the end game days, right? Day, night cycle. All right, so let's take the chest. And I don't know, I'll just stick it right there for now. Chests everywhere. No rhyme or reason. Someday we'll have better solutions for storage. Uh, okay, so wait, 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 wait. Oh, I have iron gear. <laughs> What's this? An iron plate? Okay. I didn't need quite so much iron then. Oh well, anyway. It's fine. It'll be useful for other things. So what are we making? Just throw everything in the pot. Yeah, I'm, well, that's the thing is that, um, I mean, that's just a big chest, right? There's this mod. I don't think it's in this pack, but there's a colossal chest mod where you just build bigger and bigger chests, like multi-block chests. And it's just like, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of items all in one thing. Um, but I don't think that mod is in this pack. Uh, we can check. Let's check. It'd be like at Colossal. Nope. Nope. I don't know how to spell Colossal. It's either that or it's like that, but either way, it's not in there. Okay. So let's make uh, the thing. What are we making? A piston. We were making a piston. Um, so go here, add that bookmark, go into here, click this. Um, let's make, we need one more, oh wait, 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 wait. This is an iron gear, but we don't need iron gear. We need a small iron gear. Um, there we go. So that's slightly different. That's why we needed the, the, uh, the wire cutter. That's why we needed the wire cutter to make the small iron gear. All right, so we need iron rods. Uh, probably four of those. And then... Two of those. The hammer is down to... Is that a 13? I think that's 13. 13%. All right, so we got the iron gears, small iron gears. We need uh, carpenter's blocks, cobblestone, red alloy plate. The red alloy plate we should be able to make because we made a bunch of red alloy. There we go. 11%. Uh, and then cobblestone and the other things. So, all right, there's cobblestone upstairs. I may come to regret having like a separate floor for the raw materials, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, all right, so, and then what else do we need? We need a fence, any kind of fence. I think I have, uh, oh yeah, 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 hold on. I was like, so I made, um, I had some acacia on me, so I made an acacia fence to, uh, to tie the horse up to, but the lead doesn't want to stick on the acacia fence. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but uh, it's fine because I can use it for this, I think. All right, what else do we need? We need cobblestone and we need three carpenter's blocks. So the carpenter's blocks need, uh, let's see, I'll use, how many wooden screws do I have? 16, 
I just need eight. There we go. Eight wooden screws. And then whatever these are. Wood frame boxes. Cool. Okay, so it's just sticks. So we need four, um, so we need eight of these. So we need four batches of these. So we need uh, a stack of sticks. We need a stack of sticks. Um, so we need 32 planks, if we don't want to use our saw up for this. So we need 16 pieces of redwood. I think that works out right, because we get two for that. Wherever that went, oh, it went over there. Okay, let's make that all into sticks. We'll have some extras. Uh, and then, click, click. There we go. And then, there we go. So the uh, the carpenter blocks, if I remember right, they're, they're from this mod called Carpenter Blocks. Uh, well, carpenters blocks. Uh, they have a quality. I think they they can be customized a bit to like to make stairs and stuff. But what they do is you put one down, and then you take another kind of block, say a plank. I think you can click it. There you go. And it is it assumes the the look. Ow, that's hot by the way. Uh, a a metal pipe full of steam is hot. I'll have you know. Anyway. Um, so a carpenter block can assume an appearance, right? Uh, can we, can we wrench this? No. Okay, we'll just hatchet it. There we go. And we get our, so it doesn't actually hold the block, but we can get, get it back. So that's a whole thing. Um, and I think there are, like, if I hit U over this, so there's, like, frame, you can make drawers that then can, you can, make look at any texture or combination of textures. Uh, and I think there are shaped ones too. Carpenter ladder, garage door, flower pot, gate, hatch, lever, doors, etc. Anyway, so there's, it's just the beginning of uh, the decorative options that are in this pack in terms of interesting shapes and textures of blocks uh, in this. All right, and I still don't have any cobblestone. Let me go get some cobblestone. There we go. We could have had a crafting table in here, but nope. If I do that when I can walk around more. All right, here we go, our first piston. The hell is that? All right, so. Two pistons or two sticky pistons? So the sticky pistons actually, we just need glue or a slime ball or gelatinous slime, you know, something. So that that's not, um, I'm just kind of wondering if it's feasible to get glue. I don't know, I don't know what to choose here. I feel like the piston is more generally helpful. Like, we'll have other uses for it. So I'll take that. Hey, look, now we can see more stuff. All right, and, and we already made glass, so that's done. Let's take a loot bag. All right. Uh, I ain't afraid of no ghost. So ectoplasm is a thing. I think we actually have some in a chest. You can collect from spirits of the dead. It's useful, uh, makes a very useful glass, specter glass. Uh, you can walk on, mobs can't. Interesting. They think they can, but they can't, so they fall through it. So that, that could be cool for um, mob management, mob farm. 
so many possibilities in team. All right, so that, that's the thing. Uh, I think what we want to do, though, is we want to do the Mass Trader. All right, so what time is it? Okay, we got a little bit of time. See, Mass Trader. Finally, you are able to make a device that will replace your mortar. Uh, however, the note durability feature of this device comes with a cost. You need two diamonds for the grinding heads. The Mass Trader will double your ore output. Put ores through it instead of smelting directly. Remember, don't block the output port and don't stand behind it. So, we already have the diamonds. Let's make the Mass Trader. Uh, so, <laughs> you know those two pistons or sticky pistons? We needed that. Okay, so we need that. We need some small bronze flute pipes. We need a bronze hole. And we have those two diamonds that are we'll at the other base right now. So, uh, we are just needing to figure out what, uh, what to do. Let's put stuff away here. One of the nice things about the uh, the storage drawer is you can just double right click. Um, and anything that's in your inventory that matches what you're clicking on just gets pulled out. Maybe we put this glass here somewhere. Maybe next to this other kind of glass. Um, red alloy ingots. And drop right there, there we go. Pistons. All right, so we made one, it didn't consume it. So now we, we have three, we're gonna use two. We'll have one piston left over for something. Uh, we got some carpenter blocks. Uh, I'm gonna put those here, I guess. All right, so, and then uh, coins we can put away. There we go, there we go. And we got some cookies too, which is handy. Uh, they're, they're not worthless. What, uh, what do we need again? So the bronze hull. We need bronze plate and a hammer. Okay. Oh, right. So I think before I made the bronze plate, but I ended up using it to make the bronze hull to make the, uh, the alloy smelter instead of the pipe. And that's why I was confused. I thought I made the pipe, but I made the other thing instead. Okay, so anyway. So bronze plate, we need eight of those. So we need 16 bronze. Uh, and we have five. All right, so we'll, we'll need to go get some more in the morning. All right. So the reason this gap is here, by the way, is uh, just so the mobs can't walk into the base should they spawn they won't spawn i say the base you know the the tree thing all the stuff is lighted and should be fine what's the what were the green numbers from that that was really suspicious <laughs> that looks like something regaining health it wasn't me was it, it wasn't the horse was it i don't know that's odd. Anyway, moving right along. Let me go get some more bronze. And make the macerator so that we can double the efficiency of our metal processing. Oh yeah, so um, I feel like I maybe you pointed this out last stream, but I was talking before about the nodes, the Thomcraft nodes. There's one right here. Or a node. So there are ones of these out in the world that um, are not harmless, but instead destroy the terrain around them. Super fun. Okay, so bronze. Yeah, we got some bronze. Uh, and we need those diamonds too, yeah? Take those diamonds, bring them over. Uh, yeah, there's the ectoplasm I, I got from something. I think I killed a mob at some point and like a ghost arose and I killed the ghost and it dropped an ectoplasm. I feel like that's what happened. But who could say? That was weeks ago. Uh, what else do we need for this thing? Bronze fluid pipes. Bronze fluid pipes are just more bronze plates. Uh, so we need... Hold on, let's look at this. So these, we get six for six... And we only need four. So we need six plates, and we need another eight plates 
for a total of 14 plates. I can math sometimes. <laughs> 14 plates, so that's 28, 28 bronze. So the good news is we have enough. Now, is our hammer gonna survive this? Probably not. Rip hammer. All right. So let's make a new hammer. Um, I feel like the iron is gonna be a better hammer. Is it the other way? I can I can make it out of iron, right? Yeah. Seems about the same as the bronze one. All right, so then, uh, we don't need to bookmark the piston. Let's get back out of here, steam macerator, fluid pipes, and bronze hole. All right, I mean, I guess I have the macerator bookmarked here. I could just go through it, but uh, yeah, like, so like, instead of bookmarking those individually, I could just, once I'm in the crafting station, I can go to the macerator and I can click, oh, I need this small bronze fluid pipe. Click over here, click this. And there we go, six of them. Get those things back, go back to the macerator, click on bronze hull, click on this. There we go, bronze hull. And then click on the macerator and we have all the stuff. So hey, look, a macerator. Achievement get. <laughs> and then we get uh, three jelly beans that I've never eaten, not eaten yet. What does it taste like? It tastes like sugar. Uh, and then some coins. All right. Might as well just finish them off. Unless they have a secret use. Can you use jelly beans for anything? You can can them. <laughs> oh, wow. That's kind of nostalgic. I feel like, um, I don't know if it was like, if it was IC2 or the mod before that, long, long ago. One of the first mods I played in Minecraft involved, had like a canning thing. It was probably IC or IC2, I don't know. Long ago. Anyway, so we did the Steam Mass Raider. So now, uh, we don't see too much more, right? We, we can see this, hey, gypsum. To make bricks for the blast furnace, you need to make concrete and gypsum. And so it's telling us that we need to get these things. Uh, and I think that we've already found veins where these things are. So that, that'll be like a mining thing. I might just do uh, off stream. And then it's saying, hey, lapis, in order to make your bricked blast furnace, which I think is the thing we need to make steel, you need to find a lapis vein containing calcite. So I found several actually lapis veins uh, here. Let's turn this or veins thing back on. Uh, so like there's lapis there over by the tree. And was there another one? Mike, uh, it's bluish like that. Maybe that was the only one. I thought I ran into another one. There's, um, so Kaolinite has Fuller's Earth, which is one of the things that was mentioning that we needed. But, uh, yeah, so, and and we do have the um, Ore Finder Wand that we can use to find more stuff, uh, should that those veins not be sufficient. And we get uh, some loot bags, sandwiches, and stuff like that. And then over there, it's going to tell us about the fact that you can use lapis uh, with the tinkers tools and the uh, the tool station to give a uh, luck uh, ability to your tool to get better odds on you know mining stuff that drops items like you know you you mine those small ore vein uh, blocks and you get like the dusts and stuff so I think the the luck affects that so that's a whole thing. Uh, what else is going on here? So we can look at extracting stuff. The steam extractor for rubber to make cables from wires. 
So we will need that. Um, compressing stuff. So we can compress nine ingots into a block or to make uh, firm tofu for uh, various food recipes. Um, and then here's a quest. To make your first masturbator, you need two diamonds. And to enter the Twilight Forest, you need one. Finding a diamond vein would help you a lot. Well, we already did that, but this wants us to find 32 diamond ore and graphite ore and coal ore. So it's a whole thing. Um, all right. And then I think, is this, I think this might be steel. I'm pretty sure we need to make steel before we can move on to tier one the uh, low voltage age. I think this is maybe like a, <laughs> a diamond hammer or something. Uh, none of those things are required. The, the main quests that you know you need to, to do are the ones that have little, the details in the corners. Everything else is kind of optional. So like these machines are necessary and getting to here is necessary. Uh, but I think what I want to do is I want to play around with the Macerator. Uh, and then we'll probably start working on the other machines, which will be easier to do. Yeah, enchanting is fun. Giving light to a tool. Yeah, sorry, I just saw the message. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's not even enchanting. It's um, it's Tinker's Construct. Because we don't have like an enchanting table or anything yet. But yeah, you can put the, the pickaxe here. And you can put other things in here and give it modifiers to give it added ability. So that's what I did with uh, a bunch of redstone earlier. Uh, all right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pause right here uh, and take a little break. And when we come back, we're gonna set up the masturbator, get it hooked up to steam power, and uh, macerate some ores uh, to double our uh, ore to metal production. And then uh, start working on those other steam on those other steam machines and move us closer to getting steel. So we can move on eventually to our